Lightning Components is our new full-stack framework for building modern web applications. Lightning is already in use in our Salesforce One mobile app and has been for nearly two years. It's also being used in newer apps like Lightning App Builder, Lightning Process Builder, and the upcoming Lightning Desktop. In addition to building apps for desktop browsers and for the Salesforce One app, components give you a level of customization that we've never offered before via Lightning extensions. Extensions allow a developer to actually plug into the standard Salesforce One interface. This means that you can replace the look and feel and behavior of individual fields in your applications. Here's an example of a completely custom application built using Lightning Components. This app uses custom objects to easily store and track expenses. It is made up of three parts. In red, we can see summary data about my expenses. Below that is a detailed list of the expenses that I've created. The third part is the ability to quickly enter new expense data. Because Lightning is a component-based framework, we can build this app using multiple custom components. For example, the top and middle are part of one component, and the list at the bottom is a different component. The components communicate with each other using Lightning events. By breaking the app into multiple components that interact via events, I can easily create a new version of the list section and drop it in to replace the current one. I'd like to take you through the fundamentals of creating a Lightning app. I'm going to do this by creating a custom list for contact records. I'm actually going to start with an Apex class that will drive the server-side interactions of my component. This is standard Apex. The Aura enabled annotation specifies that this method is available to Lightning components. Aura is Salesforce's open source project that is the foundation for the Lightning component framework. This controller simply exposes the results of a query. That's all I need to do in Apex, so let's build the actual list component. I'd like to point out four fundamental aspects of this code. First, the component is bound to the Apex class I just created using the controller attribute on the component tag. It also implements force.apphostable. This is an interface that tells the platform that this component by itself can be used in the Salesforce One mobile app. Next, I've defined an attribute on my component to hold the data returned from the server-side controller. Third, I'm handling a built-in event that is fired when the component is initialized. Finally, I'll add a client-side JavaScript controller that handles communication between my component and the server-side controller. We create an action that will call the controller's getContacts method. The action has a callback in which we'll set the contacts list in the view. Once we have our action, we queue it up to be sent to the server. Now I'll define the user interface for this component. What you'll notice is it's a combination of standard HTML markup and Aura components. I'm accessing the data from the contacts attribute in the standard Lightning iteration component and assigning it a local variable named C. The rest is pretty standard HTML5 with data binding expressions to access the contacts fields. I've got everything I need for this simple app and now I want to wire it up to Salesforce One. The first step is to create a new custom tab for it. If you're already familiar with building apps in Salesforce, you'll notice the new section for Lightning Component tabs. The final step is to add this tab to my Salesforce One navigation. Let's start up Salesforce One. I can navigate to the left-hand nav and choose my Lightning app. And there's my new contact list. One last thing I want to show you is how to get more control over the UI. Let's go back and add some style to our component bundle. I click the style button and paste in some standard CSS. Now we can go back and see that I have a nicer styling on my list. Those are the fundamentals of creating a Lightning component, but we've just scratched the surface of Lightning component development. I hope you dig deeper and can't wait to see what you build.